on this video we are going to share with you the tips on how to cook and engrave on a CO2 laser machine with minimal soot and how to remove the residual from the leather after the job. So my name is Anthony and this is Birmer. In the previous video we worked out cutting and engraving on leather. We already know that working with leather, even with the same supplier, settings have to be adjusted every time. So make sure you check out our round test. You can find out more about how to do tests, cutting and engraving in our previous video. And you can find a link in the description. So now let's talk about carbon deposits. What are carbon deposits? Carbon deposit is a combustion product that forms after the material has been processed at high temperature. Carbon deposit makes product looks untidy and gets very dirty. We already know that when we work with leather, we are always gonna have carbon residuals on our leather. But have you ever seen white bells or white bags with dark spots? Most likely not. How do you avoid suit with laser cleaning leather? The first tip is to increase the blowing power. A higher blowing will reduce the carbon deposit and makes it easier to remove. It is better to choose a high speed as there is less shooting with a fast cut, but you might have to cut twice. So the second tip is to place the leather on a honeycomb table face up. So if you get any soot, the appearance of the product will not be affected all the carbon deposits will remain on the reverse side. We do recommend to use an iron honeycomb table as in Watson machines and neodymium magnet for easy handling. With a little help of the background, I did it. This is convenient as the nozzle does not touch them during the operation. Now let's move to engraving. How do you engrave a letter on a CO2 laser machine without carbon deposit? One of our customers makes bags from white leather and shared it with us his tips and tricks, and we will share it with you. Post your tips in the comments and let us share the experience. The main task when engraving white leather is to reduce blowing so that burnt particles of the materials do not stick on the product. There are two methods. The first one is to put a pneumatic regulator on the machine. It is a small device that changes the direction of the compressor air in the pneumatic system. This reduces the airflow and results in a cleaner engraving. The second method is also applicable for cutting. It's to use a long focus lens, and in this case, the pneumatic regulator is not necessary. So using a long focus lens increases the distance between nozzle on the material and this reduces naturally the blowing over the surface of the material you can also take advantage of the tips that we use it on our previous videos how to cut and engrave on plywood and the link to the video is going to be on the description cover the letter with a masking tape and engrave over it but remember that on small parts the tapes will be very difficult to peel off also make sure you adjust the settings so that there is enough laser power to vaporize both the paper and the adhesive letter otherwise you might end up with the following results we also recommend you to use an expanded nozzle just like this the extended 6 mm diameter nozzle makes the airflow more dispersed so that it does not force combustion and cutting product into material surface and no carbon residual are left after engraving. Be sure to use film extractor as burned leather has a very bad smell. Watson machines are equipped with smoke extraction system to help you deal with smoke and bad smells problem. How to remove soot after cutting? Even though we have purposely cut the leather with the front side facing, the soot still get in the way. After cutting, it's easy enough to clean the ends from the small soot deposit. And it can be removed in several ways. With a brush, eraser, sponge, soap water, and wet wipe. We do not recommend using paper towel as they tear quickly and leave dusty residual on the product. 
Do not use alcohol-based cleaner, as alcohol dries the leather and spoils the quality. Choose the way you like how to get rid of carbon deposit. Thank you for watching our videos. My name is Anthony and this is Brimmer. See you in the next video.